So like some of these users, does your iPhone 10 gets too hot or warm? Either randomly or after the iOS update, if you're also having these frequent overheating issues, don't worry. We have made this guide full of tips and tricks why this happens and how you can fix this issue. Now, first of all, I'm going to remind you, uh, if you're using any third-party phone case or cover with your iPhone, this might happen. So if possible, just take it off. Your iPhone 10 can overheat if you're frequently streaming contents or constantly playing massive or heavy games. Your iPhone 10 can also overheat if you keep using it under direct sunlight for a long time. Apart from this, after setup, it will take your iPhone a few days to properly initiate all the functions, hence the overheating. So in that case, it's normal. Your iPhone 10 can also overheat during too hot ambience. Now, the ideal temperature for any iPhone is 32 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. That means zero to 35 degrees centigrade. To fix the overheating issues, first make sure not to use your iPhone while it's on charge. And talking about charge, try to use Apple or MFI approved charging cable and brick with your iPhone 10. Because any third party fast charger can cause this overheating issue. And every now and then try to clear out all the apps that might be running in the background of your iPhone 10. Overheating can also happen when it's having trouble connecting to the cellular network. It constantly tries, fails, and then reconnects. So when it starts heating up, just turn on airplane mode for a while. It can also overheat during a constant hotspot connection if you're frequently using one. So if possible, just turn it off right then and there. Apart from this, check out some brightness settings from settings to display and brightness. From here, you can select the brightness that your iPhone 10 will follow all the time. And from here, you can also reduce the screen lock timeout. Now let's talk about some background app refresh settings. From settings to general to background app refresh, you can select the app refresh either on Wi-Fi only, or you can manually select which apps you need to update constantly. Turn off the other apps. And finally, I remind you that during charging or using your iPhone 10, if it gets a little warm, it's totally normal. Nothing to be worried about. And these are all the quick and simple settings that you can manage or change to reduce overheating on your iPhone 10. Thank you for watching.